Hey guys! So I'm back today. This is my third look from my Naked November series. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to actually get to five looks. I really wanted to, but I've just been kind of busy with doing school things and I'm really, really sorry. I will have four looks, definitely. I'll have another look that goes up um, probably tomorrow or on Thanksgiving. Um, but I'm going to be... I'm so excited, guys, because my best friend Yasmin, who was in my um, like outlet shopping and meet by BFF video, which I'll put down below, she's coming back for Thanksgiving, and so she's going to do a couple of videos with me, which I'm really excited about. And so I'm asking you guys... Um, those of you who actually watch me, I know she's going to film some videos with me. We're going to do like the best friend tag, but with kind of our twist on it. And we also um, are going to film like our all-time favorite beauty products. Now, I know I told you guys from after Thanksgiving to like December 1st, I was going to do my three favorite red lip looks. So I'm asking you, do you want me to go ahead and show those? from Thanksgiving to December, or do you want me to push those back to like the beginning of December and show my videos that I film with Yasmin from Thanksgiving to December? So let me know in the comments below which order you want to see them in. I mean, I will put them all up. Um, I just want to see what you guys want to do. Um, she might also be in my no uh, November favorites video. I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to see how many videos I can talk her into. Anyway, now that that is out of the way, on to um, the tutorial. I'm just going to show you really quick the products that I used. Obviously, it's my Naked palette. I just dropped the brush. Sorry. Um, so, on my lid, I used Half Baked, which is this gold. Um, and then in the crease is Smog. And on the outer corner is Dark Horse, so just half-baked smog and dark horse. And then on my brow bone and on the inner corners of my eye, I use um, a combination of Virgin and Sin. I just mix them together. What else do I use? I use my Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyes. I do use um, a MAC eyeliner in... engraved. And I use my Maybelline Falsies... Um, mascara. Now the blush and lipstick I explain as I'm going along what I'm using there and then um, I want to say there's something else I wanted to say to you guys. I'm not sure what it is now though. Oh yeah I was just saying <laughs> I was just gonna say that um, I really do like this look. I think it's appropriate to wear to um, like holiday events just because I think gold during the holiday as eyeshadow is just absolutely gorgeous. I think it really goes with any look that you pick as far as like a dress or if you're wearing like a turtleneck and pants or boots or whatever it's gonna really go with anything that you decide to wear so I really think this look is very versatile also one last thing sorry guys um, if you have yet to see my video on my re uh, my October giveaway winner and where I announced my new giveaway where you can win either the Naked 1 or the Naked 2 palette. It is totally up to you. Um, I'm going to put that link down below also. I would love it if you guys entered. I'm so excited for this and you'll be getting... My giveaway is called Get Naked in the New Year and so you will obviously, as it says, um, receive these hopefully right around the beginning of the new year. So, that is my last thing and... Now we'll do the tutorial. Bye! So as always, I'm just going to start off with some of my Urban Decay Primer Potion and just making sure I get that all the way up to my eyebrow. And then now I'm going to grab my shader brush. It's a medium shader brush with the half-baked. Just make sure I get that all the way down to the lash line and applying it all over my lid. Now I do like to make sure I get it up kind of into my crease so that it blends a little bit better when I get that crease color in. So now I'm just going to take a uh, fluffy shader brush and starting on the outer corner just kind of working in small circles and windshield wiper motions um, to get that into the crease a little bit and then now just going in and darkening it up a little bit more so that I get to the color that I want. And then next I'm going to be taking um, another shader brush but it's kind of a fluffy brush that's flattened and I'm just going to use one side to apply some color and then flip it over and make sure that blends it in. So that's just what you see me doing right there. And then now I'm going to take a large shader brush that I got from Coastal Scents and I'm just blending two of the lightest colors in together onto my brow bone and making sure I blend out any harsh lines from my crease. And now after that going in with just some 
black eyeliner. This is an eyeliner from MAC. I kept hitting my eyelashes and it was making me blink. <laughs> so just making a thin line pressed right into the eyelashes to make sure to darken that up a little bit. And then now I'm just reaching for my um, small, this is a small angled liner brush. I'm just kind of putting the same three colors um, from the lightest on the inner corner to the darkest at the outer corner and kind of making sure I blend where they meet together a little bit. And then taking my eyeliner and lighting my waterline and just making sure to really press it into, again, kind of the lashes. And then now, everybody's favorite part, comes mascara. And um, this is just the Maybelline Falsies. I'm just making sure I get a really good coat all the way down to the roots, making sure I get all the little lashes at the outer corner. And then I'm gonna, this is a rather wet formula, so I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then go ahead and put on a second coat and this is where I really kind of blink and try to make sure that they curl up so that you can actually see my lashes otherwise they'll just kind of stick straight out for me and then just playing a little bit to the outer portion of my lower lashes and that is what it looks like there I'm just kind of touching up my eyebrow because it gets a little crazy if I don't keep it tame okay so that's the eyes and now since the eyes are fairly neutral and the lip that I'm going to do is fairly neutral, one of my favorite things to do in the fall is to do a really um, kind of like wind flushed or cold flushed um, like berry stained cheek. So the way that I like to do this is I just, I actually start off with quite a bit of product and it looks pretty bright to begin with. Um, but I promise you it doesn't look that bad <laughs> once it's done. So I just kind of start, I like really the central to be kind of like right here and I like it to be pretty big and flushed like it, I just spent a lot of time out in the cold weather. So I'm just going to pat this on. This is the um, Smashbox Air Blush in the berry color. So I'm just going to kind of pat this on. And without blending yet, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit lower, more towards the midline of my face, and then kind of up my cheekbone. And so, with most of it being kind of right there. And again, that looks a little crazy right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this um, fluffy angled brush. This is by Sigma. This is their F40. And so I'm just going to take this and blend with this and I love this because it gives it a very like airbrushed look to me um, and I'm just gonna blend a lot and th so this keeps a lot of the concentrated color on the middle part which is where I like it and it's so funny because it's coming out so much darker on camera than what it is in person so it looks a lot darker on the camera so I promise it's really not that crazy but this brush is great for doing this um, for just getting it as light as you would like it to be and then I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side get some of the product on here and this is absolutely one of my favorite blushes this is going to last me forever because even doing this with as much color saturation as I'm getting I'm using barely any of this product so I absolutely adore this product and this is definitely one of my favorite cheek looks that I've been doing right now and I've had a lot of people ask me if it's you know if it is makeup sometimes I mean they really just think when on the chillier days that I'm just getting flushed from the cold and they always tell me that it looks really pretty so I think that's good for that side I think I should go out like this what do you guys think I think it looks awesome yeah. so just gonna blend again with this And I know this is probably not the, like the traditional way, traditional way to apply blush, but again, because this is a cream blush, I mean, I could blend it out with my fingers, but because I am putting on a little bit more than normal, I really don't like to use my fingers to apply products that often, um, just because I don't like the idea of putting bacteria or germs or anything on my face since I just wash my face. And, you know, every time you touch something, you are picking up germs on your hands from it. So... Okay, so that's what I got for that, and again, it looks so much crazier on camera. I don't know why this is, and it looks on camera like this cheek is so much darker than the other one, and it's really not even. I have, must have bad lighting in here today. I don't know, guys. 
So that's what I got for the cheeks. And again, I absolutely adore this the combination and I'm absolutely in love with it. And this came from my like um, gift set that I got from Sephora for using my points. This is the Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick in Brooklyn. Um, but I just, I absolutely love this stuff. And I'm really actually really liking these Buxom lipsticks. I've picked up another one since then. And these are really great because I, I love the size of them. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and... I have these odd little peaks here on my lips. And I like them because they're quite unique, but... I don't know, they're kind of annoying because I can't just like rub my lips together and get my makeup up there. It just doesn't work. Anywho. And then on top of that, just to lighten it up a little bit um, and give it some um, shine, I'm going to use, again, came in the same gift set. This is the Buxom... I don't know what the actual line is because they have like three different lines of their glosses and I can't remember exactly what this one is. But this is the one in White Russian. And so I'm just going to... And so that's it guys. I mean, I'm curious what you think, if this is something that you think you might wear, um, or if you have another look from the Naked palette that is kind of your go-to look. I love it if you either left the colors down below so that I could try it myself, or maybe filmed a video tutorial and left that as a response. Again, I'd love to try that myself. And um, that is all I have for you guys today, so I will see you next time. Bye!